Hello traders, so bringing to you a quick video. Uh, so I'm gonna do things a bit differently right now. Uh, specifically on this video, uh, this video is meant for you. You right now who's watching this video, this video is meant for you, right? Because it's it's sort of a self-check video, uh, but also a video that's gonna help you to reach the milestones and the goals that you have when it comes to your Forex trading, right? So before we quickly get started, I now have a Telegram group and uh, you can join. I'll leave the link in the description uh, that you can actually click to actually join the Telegram group. We will obviously be getting updates on the current market um, fundamentals as well as any trades, potential trades that I might be looking into, right? So now that we have have that out of the way, what I really wanted to share with everyone is this is based on a video that I did a couple of months back, right? So it is this video here. This video that I did three months ago and the video is titled Fundamentals are the Holy Grail and why this cheat sheet works to find the direction. So this video was created three months ago, right? And it included a cheat sheet that you could have used to actually identify the market direction. So eliminating almost 50% of the work for you, if you paid attention to it. So it goes back to the fact that I share a lot of value in the videos and I do engage with some of the people uh, who've actually watched my videos and what in the conclusion that I come to is that most of them do not implement what they learn. So like I said, this video is for you watching today. It's a self-check video to actually check if whether you are implementing what you are learning, whether it's from my content or from content of others, because what I'm going to show you based on this video that I shared three months ago, it's going to blow your mind, right? So the video essentially, I'm just explaining, just expla explaining this uh, cheat sheet, right? Which is essentially this currency ranking spreadsheet. And this is what I go over in the video. This is what I'm explaining in depth how to use it and all of that and all you had to do to have access to it as you can see is just click the link at the bottom and the link is available on all videos that I post even the most recent video that I that I posted or shared the link is there currency ranking spreadsheet it's in the description but without any further ado let's go into the spreadsheet and then we're gonna go into the actual charts just following the spreadsheet I'm not going to say anything else about fundamentals or try and support the direction with fundamentals. We're just going to look at what we're getting from the currency ranking spreadsheet and plotting that on the chart to actually see if the market was actually moving as anticipated based on this, right? So let us click on the link. And like I said, it's available on all videos. So we can just close these YouTube, uh, uh, YouTube pages here. And exactly like what I was saying in the video that this is designed for you. This is designed to help you so that you can eventually get good at identifying the direction using fundamentals. And I explain everything in detail. Like, as you can see, this currency ranking sheet is based on eight different economic indicators, mainly interest rates, GDP, manufacturing, PMI, inflation, core inflation, inflation, month over month, unemployment rate and consumer confidence. A pair so essentially here's how you use it you pay a strong buy currency green with a strong sell currency red to find the direction this will give you the medium term direction and you will also earn a positive swap or interest in most case in most cases right but essentially you all you have to do is to just take the currency in red as you can see, this is the this is the measurement scale. So if it's bright red, obviously it's a strong sell. But you just take one in in red to sell against one in green, one in, in the strong greens. That's all you have to do, right? So now let us go back to this this page here on on our trading view, right? So that we can actually plot all of those, most of them essentially. And we can correlate them with this, but you will find this once you actually enter the Telegram group. This was a, just a quick snapshot that I shared. And as you can see with Forex markets in terms of currencies, uh, New Zealand and Australia, as well as the South African Rand, uh, will are, are essentially expected to remain strong or to, to, yeah, to remain stronger 
in 2024 because they are expected to cut interest rates later but for new zealand they only expected to cut interest rates next year right so that leaves them stronger in terms of interest rate expectations whereas all the other economies are doing that they are expected to cut interest rates soon for example the ecb or the european central bank as you can see they expected to begin cutting rates as soon as next month which is what which is june right so that makes what interest rate cuts higher in the in the, for for the euro compared to the new zealand so what would that mean from a fundamental perspective looking to sell euro new zealand right but we're gonna go to the currency ranking sheet now and let us look at euro euro is weak right it's red euro is weak new zealand is, is essentially strong we also have euro against aud so we could pay these two together right and remember this video I shared three months ago. So if you haven't made any profits from trading for the past three months and you had seen that video, if you're new to my channel, you're excused, you're forgiven. But if you've been watching my channel since the beginning of this year and you haven't applied this and you, and you, you missed all these opportunities, like I said, once again, it's a self-check video and it's all on you, right? So you need to decide moving forward if whether whatever you learn whether from my channel and or anyone else's channel if whether you do apply it or not don't just learn for the sake of learning i always say this learn for the sake of mastery and for you to achieve a level of mastery essentially to get to a level where you're able to do something effortless effortlessly without having to think much about it just like tying your shoelaces you don't really have to think much about doing that for you to get to that level you need to implement what you learn don't learn for the sake of learning learn for the sake of implementation that is the key right so we're gonna start off with euro nzd so we can close uh, this telegram now we're gonna start off with euro nzd and then also look at uh look at euro euro aud right so euro nzd so as you can see euro nzd went up for the first few months of 2020 of 2024 but then it has been falling now right so you could have used the the, this, the currency ranking spreadsheet obviously combining it with interest rate expectations like i explained in my previous videos that interest rates drive everything else so you could have been looking to do what looking to short euro let's actually go to the euro tab to make this easier so euro nzd you could have been looking to sell euro nzd right euro mexico same thing yes price went up but expectations were for what were for prices to go lower but you mexico euro mxn you could have probably ignored it why because the bank of mexico started cutting interest rates even though they are holding interest rates but they've started their cutting their interest rate cutting cycle right so you would have probably looked to currencies where there is a stronger divergence where one i expected to cut soon compared to others that are not expected to cut this year or maybe cut later in the year right and that creates that divergence there so you can look at euro nzd euro aud is also another example right as you can see this is the daily time frame it has been going lower yes it pushed up beginning of beginning of this year it pushed up but it has been falling and this is why i explicitly explained in that video and also i say here this will give you the medium term direction and you will also earn a positive swap but mostly it will give you what the medium term direction not the short term direction but the medium term direction because that is essentially what the macroeconomics give to you right short term yes we can trade the news release the fundamental news release using the economic calendar definitely we can do that anytime but for the medium term direction that is when we use the macroeconomics involving all of these what all of these gd all of these are economic indicators and obviously also taking into consideration central banks right so this is what you could have you could have easily used the spreadsheet just to identify the direction just to identify the direction and all you had to do is wait for an opportunity based on technical analysis because remember we always combine the two fundamental analysis and technical analysis fundamental analysis is for the direction technical analysis is for the entry so once you've established the direction based on fundamentals or in this case the currency ranking spreadsheet now when you go into your technicals do technicals 
confirm that it is now an opportunity to sell that's that's just how basic it is right and then you take it from there so as long as, as if, if technicals are not confirming a sell in terms of they not lining up or giving you an opportunity to sell whether it's supply or resistance whatever strategy you might use or a broken trend line whatever strategy you might use then what do you do you wait until the technicals actually line up with the fundamentals that is how you combine the two to actually create a powerful approach and a powerful uh, strategy whenever you participating in the financial markets actually you're creating a process a process that is repeatable and you can use over and over again on different economies right so this is what we had initially right and then we also have the currency ranking you can see czar is also green euro is also red right so we could have also looked at euro czar right this was also another opportunity euro czar as well this is, these are all daily time frames right and some some of you might say but yes it pushed up for a couple of days but my question like i i asked earlier on or like i said a statement that if you haven't made profit in the past three months i shared this video and this currency ranking spreadsheet three months ago for you to use if you haven't used it or let's say if you haven't made any profit or progress in the past three months and you had watched this video it's all on you because the market was clearly going down yes the market does not fall in a straight line but it ebbs and flows right it ebbs and flows and this goes back to what i always say that interest interest rate expectations is what drives markets is what drives the currencies the currency follows interest rate expectations euro interest rate expectations are expecting cuts right for the south african rand we're not expecting cuts anytime soon so what does that create it creates a divergence euro weakness zob zob strength right so that is how we approach it using the currency ranking spreadsheet and also understanding fundamentals guys you still have access to this currency ranking spreadsheet use it to your benefit use it to be to your benefit all you have to do i explained in that video you can go and rewatch the video i explain everything in that video so that you can have a clear understanding of how to actually use it right so now we're also gonna look at aud aud is also strong right so see let's look at chf now let us look at chf chf is showing weakness japanese yen is showing weakness cad is showing weakness and obviously if you also read the, the the market snapshot in the telegram group you'll understand why this weakness for the canadian dollar um so let us look at chf and J, jpy is also weak but let us just look at chf right and also another thing to remember based on the previous videos is that whenever interest rates are expected to go lower for a currency in this case the euro what does that mean for the stock market to go up so in this case what does that mean for german 30 that is why we're seeing it push higher that is why we're seeing what euro stocks also what or euro 50 also push higher because of what because of those expectations as interest rates are expected to go lower in there in the for the for the euro for the euro european economy right so that is how you now implement it or just generate trade ideas by understanding the direction that you're expecting to take based on the currency using the currency ranking spreadsheet and then obviously you take the opposite direction based or on the what on the actual stock market indice for that economy so now let us look at chf so euro chf yes it's going up but would you really want to be buying euro chf when it is clearly showing that there's weakness of ch of the swiss franc no especially because the swiss franc is cutting interest rates but euro is also expected to cut interest rates soon so at some point they'll be going in the same direction and generally when when the economies are going in the same direction in terms of interest rate expectations it generally generally sorry results in a range bound market so now i'm gonna ignore euro chf because there's more c there's more chf pairs to trade so let us go to aud right we know it's a buy on aud so aud chf it's flying right it's flying and you could have entered I, you know I'm, I'm in a buy position on AUD CHF around the lows here and I'm still holding based on this and based on obviously on the understanding of fundamentals as well but the currency ranking spreadsheet alone could have could have put you in the same position right or allowed you to position yourself to look for buying opportunities on AUD CHF 
and then AUD JPY it's doing the same thing AUD CAD not really that much on AUD CAD but as you can see it's also pushing higher right so that this is the accuracy of this currency ranking spreadsheet guys and I and I advise you guys to use it if you're struggling with the direction and especially if you haven't seen much progress in the past three months ever since I posted this video giving everyone access to this currency ranking spreadsheet use it to your advantage if you want to big test it do that so that is what we had on AUD then we can look at New Zealand CHF because it's a buy on New Zealand as well so as you can see New Zealand CHF is also pushing higher which other currency can we buy against the, the Swiss franc uh, Zano USD USD yeah USD as well but then also interest rate expectations uh, of a cut are in September so th this is this is the beauty of trading with fundamentals because you have a wide variety of options in terms of currencies or asset classes to choose from and then if one is iffy you just take the most obvious ones and you trade that so New Zealand buying New Zealand buying Australia buying are is the most obvious one at the at the moment right so this is what you obviously do uh, NZD JPY as you can see it's also flying NZD USD if if interest rates are expected to be cut in September or this year for the US dollar but for the New Zealand dollar they ex only expected to be cut in 2025 then it leaves the New Zealand dollar in a better position than the what than the US dollar because remember interest rate expectations drives the currency so interest rate expectations for New Zealand are not to cut soon but for the dollar it is to cut in September right so what does that mean dollar weakness New Zealand strength and that is why the market is pushing up so it all correlates once you have an understanding of fundamentals and then obviously just use the currency ranking spreadsheet like I said NZD CAD as well as you can see it's starting to push higher because they expected expecting the reserve sorry the Bank of Canada to actually cut interest rates in the second in the in in, in the June meeting right so that is most of the, the expectation or the prediction and that is why we've seen what we've seen this weakness right and like i said in the spread in, in the currency ranking spreadsheet it gives you the medium term direction guys it definitely does give you the medium term direction because all the all the indicators that i use to actually come to the conclusion of ranking these currencies it is the very same indicators that i look at right so this is just a quick way of you instead of looking at the different numbers and computing everything together just look at which is which is which is strong which is weak and then you pay the other right and then all you have to do there is just keep yourself up to date with fundamentals do they also align if you're reading articles are they also aligning with what you're reading and most of the time they do because like i said it's based on how i approach the actual uh financial markets right so this is essentially what i wanted to share with you guys and of course you can even look at gbp since they also expected to cut this year gbp chf obviously in this case it's flying but obviously the most obvious one is nzd chf as well as aud chf right gbp aud that would be an obvious trade because why australia expected to remain or to cut later in the year gbp expected to cut in august right gbp new zealand new zealand expected to cut next year but gbp expected to cut in august right so it creates that divergence and that is why we're seeing them starting to fall interest rate expectations drive everything so what would that mean if you're expecting the pound to go lower looking to buy the stock market right or the stock market indices for the uk in this case uk 100 as you can see it has been pushing higher this whole time so i just wanted to bring this video to everyone and like i said it's for you specifically as you are watching do a self check if you haven't made progress in the past three months join the telegram group it's free and secondly use this currency ranking spreadsheet to your advantage guys it's gonna benefit you especially if you're not making progress there's no need to rush some will say yes it's more for swing trading but have you made progress in the past three months if you had used it you would you would be you'd be talking a different language at this point today right so do not delay apply this in your trading 
and like I said big test it if you don't trust it big test it right just take currencies random currencies take two currencies that are going in the same direction see how they are moving compared to currencies that are going in the opposite direction right see if that divergence actually makes a difference in terms of how how freely the moves are if there's a currency divergence compared to currencies that are going in the same direction if they are not more range bound try it out but most importantly implement what you learn guys do not learn for the sake of knowing learn for the sake of mastery mastery effortless execution and you get to effortless execution by applying what you learn so i just wanted to share this spreadsheet with you guys now or this video and also the currency ranking spreadsheet with everyone that it is linked under the videos also i'll now also add the telegram link in the description as well so that you can also follow it right so that is what i had and then of course that's if you understand what you which direction you expect of the currency you then know which direction to take on crypto which direction to take on gold even gold there's even gold euro not only xau usd but xau against the euro so obviously looking to buy that because why euro is expected to cut interest rates so from there it only just becomes easier and simpler once you just use the currency ranking spreadsheet to know the direction for the currency and then you know everything else will go in the opposite direction because what the direction that the currency will be taking it's the direction that the what the interest rate expectations will be headed in as well right so hope you found value from this video guys and then as always like the video share the video and do not forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also with the telegram group share the telegram group with your friends uh, who might also benefit from it but also you yourself if you have not applied anything that you have learned from my videos do apply it guys put it to the test if it does not work for you discard of it if it does continue implementing it but do not just learn and just consume videos for the sake of consuming videos it's not only a channel about creating views or for me to gather our together views and subscribers but it is also i'm creating these videos to help you in your journey of trading to make your journey not easier but more simpler and less clouded and less noisy so implement what you learn and you'll see progress it's still we're still in the second quarter of 2024 there's still two more quarters left apply yourself apply apply your knowledge and you'll see results